CCS is a technology that captures CO2, considered to be the cause of global warming, and stores it deep underground. CCS is a crucial technology for reaching net zero emissions. The Tomokomai CCS Demonstration Project, Japan's first large-scale CCS demonstration project, was launched in 2012 by the Japanese government in Tomokomai City, Hokkaido, Japan. The project has been carried out over nine years in the western part of the Tomokomai port. The initial target of 300,000 tons of cumulative injection was achieved on November 22, 2019. Aiming for the practical use of CCS technology, the objective of the project is to demonstrate the viability of a full-chain CCS system from capture to storage and prove that CCS is safe and reliable. The CO2 source is a gas supply facility in the Idemitsu Kosan Hokkaido refinery, adjacent to the Tomakomai demonstration plant. Gas containing carbon dioxide is sent by a pipeline to the Tomakomai facilities. In the Tomakomai capture facilities, an advanced energy saving absorption process is applied. The captured carbon dioxide is then sent to a compression facility to be injected into deep offshore sub seabed reservoirs. The two injection wells in this project were drilled from onshore toward two offshore sub seabed reservoirs using directional drilling technology. One well targets the Moebetsu Formation, a sandstone layer between the depths of 1,000 to 1,200 meters. The other well extends into the Takinoe Formation, a volcanoclastic layer between 2,400 to 2,800 meters deep. By drilling the wells from onshore to offshore, drilling costs were saved and disturbance of the marine environment, port and fishing activities was avoided. An extensive monitoring system was established to monitor the behavior of the injected CO2, as well as natural earthquakes and micro-seismicity. Temperature and pressure sensors were set in the injection wells to monitor the reservoir conditions. There are three observation wells, equipped with temperature and pressure sensors, as well as a total of 11 seismic sensors. In addition, an ocean bottom cable equipped with 72 seismic sensors and four ocean bottom seismometers are continuously monitoring the sub-seabed conditions. Now, a brief introduction of the results of the Tomakomai project obtained to date. Micro-seismicity monitoring, conducted by the observation wells, the OBC, and the OBSs, detected naturally occurring events in the deep subsurface prior to, during, and after CO2 injection. But none have been attributed to CO2 injection. In addition, a total of seven seismic surveys prior to, during, and after the CO2 injection were conducted in order to monitor the behavior of the injected CO2. The results of the seismic surveys indicated the evolution of the CO2 plume at the reservoir. Seasonal marine environmental surveys conducted at 12 survey points above the CO2 injection points detected no seepage of the injected CO2. The monitoring activities comprised of micro-seismicity monitoring, seismic surveys, and marine environmental surveys have confirmed that the CO2 is being stored safely and securely. The CO2 absorption tower uses activated amine to absorb the carbon dioxide. The three towers comprising the main equipment in this advanced process achieved world-class energy efficiency. Through numerous opportunities for communication with a wide range of residents, including the young generation, the project is being conducted while securing the understanding of the local community. Looking ahead, the Japanese government is currently planning to demonstrate ship transportation of CO2 
which will be captured and liquefied at a coal-fired power plant in Maizuru City and transported to Tomakomai. The government is aiming to start the ship transportation demonstration in 2024, which is expected to be the world's first CO2 ship transportation for CCUS. With a view towards the social implementation of CCUS around 2030, the objective of this demonstration is to establish ship transportation technology that will lead to long distance and mass transportation as well as cost reduction. Japan will continue the communication of its CCUS technology from Tomakomai to Asia and the world.